Welcome to GTEC Techno Solutions Private Limited. In this unit, we'll be discussing about dicarboxylic acids. Dicarboxylic acids contain two carboxyl groups, one at each end of a saturated hydrocarbon. Their general formula is as follows: COOH, CH2, N, COOH, where N can be any integer ranging from 1 to 3, and so on. Dicarboxylic acids are named as alkane dioct acid in IUPAC system. Most simple dicarboxylic acids have common names. For example, COOH and COOH has a common name oxalic acid and IUPAC name as ethene dioct acid. Whereas the compounds such as COOH, C2H4, COOH has a common name adipic acid and IUPAC name as hexane dioct acid. Now let us discuss about the methods of preparation. In the laboratory method, oxalic acid is made by the oxidation of sucrose and addition of 18 mol moles of oxygen. With concentrated nitric acid and the presence of vanadium pentoxide as a catalyst, it res results in the formation of dicarboxylic acid along with 5 molecules of water. These units here are present in sucrose molecules are split and oxidized to oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is made industrially by heating sodium formate to 673 Kelvin. Sodium formate on decomposing forms sodium oxalate and hydrogen. This sodium oxalate form is dissolved in water and calcium hydroxide added to precipitate calcium oxalate. The solution is filtered and the precipitate is treated with a calculated amount of di dilute sulfuric acid to liberate the oxalic acid. In this following reaction, we can see that the calcium sulfate precipitates and oxalic acid is crystallized as the hydrate COOH twice dot 2H2O. Here, sodium oxalate on reaction with calcium hydroxide produces calcium oxalate along with 2 moles of sodium hydroxide, which when added calcium sulfate produces oxalic acid. Also, sodium oxalate on reacting with sulfuric acid produces oxalic acid. It can also be prepared from glycol. That is by oxidizing glycol with concentrated nitric acid. It produces dicarboxylic acid as shown here. From cyanogen, if we pass an aqueous solution of acid or alkali through it, we obtain dicarboxylic acids. Succinic acid is prepared from ethylene dibromide by treating it with 2 moles of sodium cyanide and subsequent hydrolysis of ethylene dicyanide. When ethylene dipromide is reacted in the presence of sodium cyanide, we obtain an intermediate product ethylene dicyanide. On addition of hydrolysis in the presence of hydrochloric acid, we obtain succinic acid.